Uh, Hi, it's me, Dennis Woodruff, and welcome to the Dennis Woodruff Experience. You know, we're out here in Hollywood, I am, and you know, that's what I like about doing this show. Anything can happen, folks. I mean, you know, I am a very serious guy and I like to do comedy, but I'll tell you something, I never know what's going to happen from one minute to the next. I need candy! I need candy! I need candy! Yeah! 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 I need candy! Candy! Ah! 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 I need candy! Candy! I need candy! Candy! It's really funny, man. How funny is it? It's fucking funny. I need you, candy! You made me rush out of the bathroom. I was like, what the fuck's going on out there? That has to be the stupidest billboard I've ever seen in my life. Have you ever act actually picked the cheese between your toes and eaten it? My toes? No. Yeah. Other people's. Oh, well, that's a whole other story. That's going to cost you some money to find that out. Uh-huh. But... And, and if you were a leading man in Hollywood, which you could be, uh, what kind of parts would you do and why? I think I would be the uh, action hero type because I'm quick and nimble and with a hi-hat and souped up tempo I get crazy and I rock the house. If you ever had the, uh, the feeling that you wanted to walk up to someone and just slap them in the face? No, they never. Were, never. And that goes on in the UK all the time and they video cam uh, they videotape it on their camera phones what do and they I think do? it's disgusting. What do they do? It's called happy slapping. Yeah. So young kids will just go up to random strangers and slap them. Right in the face. Yep, and record it on their phones and then send it to one another because they think it's funny and I think it's disgusting. Uh, if, do if, they not do that here? Yeah, would you like to just slug me right in the face right no. now as hard as you could? No, I wouldn't. You wouldn't? No. Just like the three why stooges, would I do just that? slap the hell out Question of me. Yeah, but why would, would I do like that? that? Yeah. What? The question is, would you like that? I'd like that. Would you just like punch me like in the that, face as hard as you could? <laughs> I wouldn't, no. No? How about you? No, I wouldn't. Have you ever eaten your own booger? <laughs> I'm sure when I was a kid. What did it taste like? I don't know. <laughs> Jesus. Would you ever do it again? No. Because when I'm driving around in my car, I see people, they don't think people are watching, they're eating their boogers. <laughs> it's really rude, don't you think? I think people should get a ticket for if they eat their boogers really? in, I in public. Really? There are worse offenses, I think. One time I ate this booger. It was like really big. It was on the on my finger, and, and it was really kind of delicious, you know. And I washed it down with some They're coffee. To be quite healthy. Oh, that is yeah. disgusting! What? They're supposed it's supposed to be quite healthy for you. Really? Yeah. That's what I hear. Well, maybe you could. Uh, no, maybe, maybe I couldn't. Hi, my name is Dennis Woodruff. Have you ever heard of uh, my show, The Dennis Woodruff Experience? Yeah, we did. Did you like it? It was okay, yeah. Uh, what do you think I could do to make it better? Well, you can invite some celebrities, co-stars, to your show. And uh, are you celebrities? <laughs> no, no, I wish. <laughs> uh, where are you from? Russia. Russia. Mm -hmm. You too? Mm-hmm. What's your name? My name is Milana. My name is Veronica. Uh-huh. And uh, what do you want to be? Well, I wanted to be a singer and actress, but right now I'm thinking about law and criminal justice. Uh huh. Do you get bothered, both of you, by a lot of boys asking for your phone number and stuff? Does that bother you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, what kind of guys do you like? <laughs> <laughs> Any kind of guys? Do you believe in vampires from Transylvania? We heard that they're around Hollywood and they're. Uh, trying to suck everybody's blood. Is that true or not? <laughs> well, I don't know. When I was like young, I believed in vampires, but 
I don't know about Hollywood vampires. <laughs> Have you seen one? No. Well, I heard they hang around the graveyard late at night and then they come out around Hollywood and try to suck people's blood. I need your blood. Is it true? I don't know. I mean, if I would know, I'll probably be dead or I'd be a vampire. Yeah. Do you like vampires? No. Uh, do they scare you? Because I'm not a vampire. <laughs> You're embarrassed? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the most evil vampire in the world. I am a vampire and you better watch out for me because at 12 o'clock at night I roam the streets and I get all the homeless people's blood. <laughs> okay, well thank you very much for your opinions. I really appreciate it and have a nice day. You too. Bye. Okay, bye. Wave to everybody that's watching. Bye. And uh, could you blow them a kiss? Like this. Okay, bye. Have a nice day. Hey, you should go to the beach. It's really nice. Dennis, you're yes. very famous in Europe. May I take your picture? Sure, why not? Go ahead. Yeah, you are. You and your girlfriend had a baby, and he turned out to come out looking like a little demon. What would you do? Would you keep him? or would you give him away for adoption? You know, I would keep my little demon. No matter what he looked like, he'd still be a part of my DNA and my existence. So definitely, if that little baby ended up being, or looking like a demon, well, hell, hello. Okay, and two things in the world that you could change the world, you had the power, that you think it would change the world and make it a better place. What would you uh, choose? I would change the way people think about each other. Uh -huh. And I would educate people on a daily basis of how to care and love for one another. Yeah, I, I think that people uh, need to have better attitude about life and their brother, and they need to uh, start smiling and uh, be more friendly. Being that the Hollywood sign is the way it is, and it's been like that for years, do you think we should change it or leave it the way it is? Change it to what? I don't know, whatever you think. Now, my tendency would be to say leave it the way it is unless there's something really dramatic that would improve it, but it seems it's a good icon. I'd say leave it the way it is. How about if we had midgets jumping up and down on top of the sign at midnight and slapping each other? Ooh, now that has some real possibility. <laughs> okay, have Enjoy. a nice day. Do you know who I am? Of course. I've lived in this town long enough. Well, who is Dennis Woodruff? I think that's the question everybody wants to know. He is an actor. He's an actor. Wasn't he in the movie uh, Lost Hope? No, no. Were you? No. Well, I was cut out. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You were in. But well, you were in uh, that movie with Jack Nicholson. Uh huh. The Two Jakes. It was, uh, you know, uh, the one with the mobs. Would you do? Yeah, w yeah. Would you do your impression of Jack Nicholson for people? <laughs> I don't think I do an impression of Jack, do I? Well, try. Wendy, I'm gonna bash your head in with a skull. Or <laughs> how's she say? How's he say that? That was good. Well, Go here's ahead. a Reagan. Well, uh, well, Nancy, this is Ronald Reagan. All right, I'm gonna be in the. Uh, sir, you, you, you're very good at impressions. Can you think of another one to do for the people? Uh, here's Bill Clinton, I guess. La ladies and gentlemen, my fellow Americans, this is President Clinton just waiting for the bus right here. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I don't know. Do I have it? Say what? You're Jack Nicholson and you're saying, I, I really need to get some hair, man. Action! I really... Oh, son, son, please, please don't go to Hollywood. You're my son, and I want to warn you about all the evils in life. And to be an actor in Hollywood, it, it would be terrible for you. I just want you to go back to college, get a good degree, and be a lawyer or a veterinarian. Uh, but, Dad, I, I, I really want to go to Hollywood. I Look have at the camera. To Dad, but I, I really feel this calling within me to go out there and be an actor. I, I feel 
it's God telling me to do this. So I have to go to Hollywood. I know what's good for you. I'm looking out for you. You're my older brother, Charlie. I could have been somebody. I could have been a contender instead of a bum. It's what I am. Charlie, it was you, Charlie. You should have been looking out for me, man. <laughs> Dad, you're losing it. By the way, Pops, could I borrow like 50 bucks just to get me started? Sir, how are you today? I hope you feel better. Excuse me, are you having a good day? Great. Good. Uh, don't you think? Uh, don't you think I'm sexy? Don't you think I'm uh, beautiful? Don't you think uh, I'm uh, a very attractive? Uh, I, I, I I really like my hair. I just got it fixed, and uh, I think it's very becoming. Hi, sir. Uh, what do you do for a living? What is this for? It's the Dennis Woodruff experience. No, it's not. Yes, it is. I'm really not in the mood for this right now, man. Well, um, are you a happy Sometimes. guy? Sometimes. Are you happy right now? I'm okay. How does what is it like to live in Hollywood? Why do we have to go through with this? If you don't answer this question, you'll go to jail for the rest of your <laughs> life. <laughs> That's good. That's right. I'm be. having a bad hair day. You are. Divided. What does that say? Divider, not decider. What, what does that shirt mean, sir? It means that the President of the United States is a criminal. You think so? I do. And uh, what should we do about it? Vote him out of office as soon as possible. Well, uh, here's his face. Here's his face. Uh, what, what, what has he done that's impeachable in your, in your eyes? Can you be specific? Uh, he's lied to the uh, people. He has uh, the, the, the um, let's see, the uh, illegal wiretaps are impeachable offense. The, um, a lot of the other... Uh, I'll be done in a minute, just a minute. Okay. Abridgments of our civil rights are, are, if they're not impeachable offenses, they should be. Okay, let these people go through. Um, well. If you were, uh, have something to say, Right now you're talking to Bush, he's watching you. What would you say to Mr. Bush, Doc, uh, Dr. Bush, Dr. President Bush? Dr. Bush? Well, Mr. Bush. Who would want to have a name named Bush? If I had a name like Bush, I'd change it. It's not his name that bothers me, it's what he's done to this country that bothers me. And he should be ashamed of himself, that's what I'd well, say. Well, how about Saddam Hussein? He's done a lot of screwed up things. What do you think they should do not to, to him? Me. Well, to the people. Well, not to American people. No, but to his people. What do you think they should do? Um, you know, that's up to them, not up to me. I'm not, a, I'm not an Iraqi. Return to Lebanon. Return from Lebanon. Hi, do you think people should keep buying books or watch movies? Buy books. <laughs> I think people aren't, uh, aren't reading as much as they used to. Is that true? I think people are still reading. Yeah? Well, mm -hmm. you seem like a really smart person, I'm sure. And uh, what would you tell all the kids out there about reading and educating yourself? Uh, What's, sir, you can't be doing this here. Why? Just it's disruptive. Uh, I just like your bookstore. I appreciate that. Could you and I hang out and maybe become friends? I don't know if that's going to happen. I like your. I said I like your wig. Uh, it's my natural hair. I see that. But, you know, now I'm like, I have no family. I mean, this, you know, you're my family, Tom. Well, I mean, you know, all the people I know are my family. Sure, yeah. This is my life, man. Yeah. 
This is all I got. Yeah, no, I know. So I gotta make it work. No, oh, I mean, look, look at me. You know I'm, I mean? I'm sitting here doing a talk show in my living room. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, it's a nice living room. I'm losing room. it. I'm, I'm losing it. We're myself. all losing it. We're all losing it. See, basically, it. We're, we're all gonna end up in a mental institution. Yeah, no, absolutely, imagine. absolutely. Maybe we could just turn this into a and mental just drink, institution. Yeah, and just drink. Yeah, just drink. Have cocktails in the back. Yeah. Okay, uh, Matt from Canada. Hey, hey, Tom. Hey, How you doing, Matt? Hey, I, I saw you. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> I got a new pair of shoes! No, See, no, I like them. Don't, don't apologize. Okay. <laughs> How do you like them? I don't have to buy socks. Okay. <laughs> I don't wear underwear. Do you think you would like to be rich and famous, and why? Wouldn't like to be famous. Too much hassle. Wouldn't like to be rich, though. Why wouldn't you want to be famous? Ah, it's too much hassle going on with it. Yeah. Wouldn't mind being rich though. Yeah. How about how about you, ma'am? Yeah, Would you like to be? Yeah, just rich But I don't want to be famous. Um, why wouldn't you want to be famous? Just wouldn't want to. It's too much hassle as well. <laughs> All the paparazzi, not. Yeah. Where are you from? Uh, Dublin in Ireland. Uh, is it true that U2 is pretty popular over there in Ireland? Ah, yeah, they're the biggest band. Do they have a house over there? They do, yeah. How big is it? Uh, it's big enough now. What? Big enough. Wouldn't know exactly how big it is now, but it's like a mansion. Should have a hotel over there. What? They own. They have their own hotel. Do they hang out there? I don't know. I've only been once or twice now. I haven't seen them there anyway. I, I heard they like run around and act crazy like the Three Stooges. Is that true? They're not. I haven't heard that now myself. Yeah. Uh, that's my other question. Uh, do you like the Three Stooges? Um, yeah, I haven't seen them in years. <laughs> I don't know. Do you think they're funny? <laughs> they sure are. <laughs> they're really funny, huh? How do you like my wig? It's gorgeous. I love it sexy. too. I'm very sexy. <laughs> hey, do you like my wig? I love it. It's sexy. Um, I'm Dennis Woodruff, and thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, do you think, Mike, in your opinion, that Hillary Clinton is going to be the next president of the United States, or is really a demon? Well. If she's going to be the next president of the United States, she's probably got to be a demon. Do you think being famous would improve your life or not improve your life? I'd definitely improve it because I'm living off of Top Ramen right now. <laughs> yeah, I think it would. Yeah. <laughs> being that our society has accepted the age difference uh, for uh, people that are lovers that are far apart, for example, Ashton Kutcher and Demi Moore, do you think our society would accept the Olsen twins and Sean Connery as lovers? I don't think that they'd accept it because Sean Connery has gray pubic hair, which is a huge turnoff. Really? Yeah, not so hot. You gotta get some uh, some great looking gray for your beard. A little oh, brush it in. No. Oh no, let's not go there, man. Oh no, oh God, I can't the name. My name's Katie. And you're a very beautiful lady. Do people tell you that? On occasion. Uh, can I ask you a question? Sure. <laughs> uh, I noticed that you, uh, you shave your legs, but you don't show your armpit. You don't shave under your arms. Is that a European thing, or what, why do you do that? Well, I'm not European, so I can't say that really is that. Um, just because uh, grooming is really secondary priority in my life. But I wore high heels the other day, and I thought it would look a little sexier if I shaved my legs. Well, you're very clean, so you must be into hygiene. Yeah, hygiene. And obviously you brush your teeth every day. On occasion. How, how often do you brush your teeth? Twice a day normally. That's 14 times a week. How many times do you take a shower every day? Oh, uh, in this heat I've been known to take a shower like three times a day, cold ones. Uh, is that taking a shower alone or with your boyfriend? Well, I have a really small shower and a really big boyfriend. How big is he? <laughs> About eight inches. No comment. <laughs> is he like over 400 pounds? Oh, no, no. I think that Hillary Clinton is the next president of the United States or just a demon. Hmm. I believe that she's probably a demon. However, the way things are going, it could still be an improvement if she became the next president. <laughs>
Uh, if you had, I, I wasn't recording. If you had a baby and it turned out to be like the elephant man, would you keep it or put it up for adoption? I'd probably start a sideshow and make shit tons of cash. Uh, being that there's an age difference of Demi Moore and Ashton Kutcher and society has accepted them as lovers, do you think society would be willing to accept the Olsen twins and Sean Connery if they became lovers? Like all three of them? Yeah. Hmm. Well, I'd have to say society in general is more comfortable seeing young women with older men since that happens in practically every romantic comedy. But, you know, adding an extra twin, that might mix it up a little bit. If there was a reality show and you were asked to be on it about you marrying a really, really rich potato for the money, a multimillionaire, would you do it? I think that what I'd do instead is make a whole new reality TV show uh -huh. called The Most Beautiful 350 Pound Man Alive. Do you really believe that? Yeah, I think all this like bachelor reality is kind of played out at this point. Uh, what's your favorite TV show of all time? When I was a kid, I was really fond of the cartoon Danger Mouse about the white rat that wore the eye patch and always saved the damsel in distress. And he had that mole sidekick that would always say, right to DM. Name. My name is Heather. Heather? Do you mind if I show people your beautiful dress? Boy, this girl is well put together. I'm telling you, she's dressed to the nines. Uh, serious question. Do you think that Hillary Clinton should be the next president of the United States or will be, or is just a demon? Demon? Uh, restate, restate the question because it's really loud with all the noise traffic. Do I? I think you should direct this question to my friend Susie. Okay, Susie. Speak up. Hi, you, I think Hillary Clinton would make a fabulous president. You do? And why? <laughs> because she's the brain behind Bill, and we love Bill. Yeah, we forgive Bill for what he did, don't we? Oh, yeah. I think he deserves a blowjob every day. 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 Was a good president. I know, but it's just a matter of who's given him one. Yeah, well, you know, you'll find somebody who wants <laughs> to suck president. Oh, okay, okay. Have you ever been to a nude beach? I have been to a nude beach, indeed. Uh, were you embarrassed? No, I quite like it, actually. <laughs> did you wear any clothes? No. You just stripped it all off? I did, indeed. You just stripped it all off? Yep, every little thing. Would you want to get naked right now? Um, tempting, but no. I haven't. <laughs> have, have you been to a nude beach? No. Would you just want to go there and strip it all off? No, I don't there? understand the whole naturism thing, personally. Have you been naked before? Uh, yes. <laughs> don't need a dog. I think. <laughs> with uh, the lights off. With the lights off? Do you ever, uh, like, would you take a shower with uh, a bathing suit on? Yeah. Or would you strip it all, all the off? Time. Strip it all off. Uh, do you ever sing in the shower when you're naked? No. No. <laughs> Only if there's music playing in the background. Uh huh. And uh, if you and I uh, were in the shower right now, uh, would you would you uh, would you soap my back, scratch my back, or or would you would you allow any touching? <laughs> Would you like allow fondling? I can't fondling? see that ever happening, so I can't answer the question. If you had your marigolds would, would you allow me to fondle you in the shower if, if you and I were uh, dating? No, you should smack him in the face. Occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> or would you just smack me in the face? Uh, what's no the, comment. <laughs> can I take the fifth? <laughs> yeah. And do you have any fantasies that are unfulfilled at this point in your life? Many. Many? <laughs> None of which I'm willing to share. Uh, would I be lucky enough to be one of your fantasies? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> uh, you heard it, man. The, the chick digs me, man. I'm in, man.
Hey, listen, I gotta go. I gotta take a couple hour break because uh, I'm gonna try to see if this chick will go with me and uh, get it on in the back seat of my car. Later. Smoke, crack, worship, Satan. Hi, sir. How are you today? I'm doing pretty good. What's up? Uh, not much. Do you uh, normally wear this hat in public all the time? Yeah, 24-7 basically. And what does that mean on your shirt? It says, Smoke, Crack, Worship, Satan. It means let's get it on, baby. Are you let's serious? get it on. What you got? I mean, I ain't spun out, but I'm ready. I'm down. Are you a homosexual? No. You like ladies? I like the ladies. Sometimes I like the ladies with a little bit of an Adam's apple. Really? In the big hands and feet. What, what do you think about the saying, uh, beauty is skin deep, but ugly is to the bone? That's so right on. So right on. What are you doing today, sir? Good. Having a good time? Yeah. How about Great. You all? Action. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, man? Oh, I don't know. Sometimes that happens. It's, it's like a disease or a flashback. Hi, it's me, Dennis Woodruff. Welcome to another edition. Let's have some fun, all you groovy boys and girls. Dennis Woodruff, superstar. How did you start doing all this stuff, well, man? Actually, you know what? I, I, I joined this, this car club. Uh, a friend of mine, DJ, started a car club called The Creeps. Uh -huh. And uh, I joined the club about six years ago. So a friend of mine did the interior. Everything had to be taken out and redone. Uh, Iron cross seat. Wheel with the studs right there. I got the 60s um, uh, knobs on the inside. Yeah. There's still some work to be done. Here's the motor. Wow, what kind of motor you got This in is there? the original 352. That came oh. with a 62 Galaxy, two-door, uh -huh. no post, and it's been rebuilt. And uh, it's not the cleanest motor we've ever seen, but I mean, it runs good. How many how many women have, have you laid in this? <laughs> I, mean, actually, I wish I could say a lot, but no, man. It's oh. actually, no, I've never, I've been with my girl for a long time. She's a oh. surgeon. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. So it's well, a serious in the old days, we, <laughs> in the old days. <laughs> in the old days, we take one of these down to the drive-in movie on the weekend and get some use out of those springs in the back seat, if you know what I mean. The only thing I would recommend is um, maybe put a second story on it and make a camper out of it. <laughs> no, I don't think you would do that. Style. You would do that. No. <laughs> What'd you think? Excellent. Really? You're, you are ambitious and creative, and what more could you want in a filmmaker? And how about my uh, how about my public persona? Because uh, some people <laughs> get confused; they might think I'm crazy. Am I? I don't think yeah. so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, it's Hollywood. It's Hollywood. I know, but I really need a girl to love me and take care of me and cook me dinner that I could give a massage to and be happy and get lots of kisses and make her happy and we could have two lovebirds and we could go to the park and to the beach and we could be two lovebirds. Is that impossible? Oh, it's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's a lovely wish, it's lovely. It's possible for everyone. You know, Tom Cruise was jumping up and down on the couch on Oprah Winfrey and he was saying how Scientology rules and everybody should do it. Uh, does that prove in <laughs> your eyes that he's a total lunatic? 
Uh, I didn't see that, but he proved a long time ago <laughs> that he's got some issues. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that was just sort of like icing on the cake, you know. From one girl to all the women out there, Dennis Woodruff's a good guy. If you're single and you want an experience, check him out, look him up, find him. You'll have a good time. In your eyes, is there a celebrity that we should uh, put on the space shuttle and send him to the moon and get rid of him forever so we don't have to deal with him anymore? Who would that be and why? Uh, you know, I, I have to say Nicolas Cage because I think he, he's the most constipated of all celebrities. And I think really we have to do something about the constipation problem in America. Uh, can you define what that means as far as... He's got something shoved up his ass. You go to a party and stuff cottage cheese down your pants to impress your guests, to make them laugh? Uh, no. Well, one time I had a party and I didn't have any uh, food, uh, so I had to make some hors d'oeuvres, so I had some crackers. So I just got out a big can of dog food, Alpo, and I just like uh, heaped it out on the plate and uh, put it on the crackers and served it as pate. And it was kind of funny because nobody really knew. And then later on, like a week later, I said, did you know that, that uh, how'd you like those hors d'oeuvres? And they said, ooh, they were very tasty. And I said, well, that was Alpo. And they were like really mad at me, man. One of my friends got really sick and almost threw up on my foot. Do you smoke marijuana? No, but I hear the president does. And, I, and I think that the entire war in Iraq was after like a, this total, you know, bong session. And they were like, you know, maybe this is what will, you know, be totally hot and cool. We could use all the toys. And they're like, yeah, rock it. And you know, nobody really wants to take you know, blame for it now because they don't want to admit it was like this total, you know, right before the munchies, they said, let's go to Iraq. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. If you were president, what would be the first thing you'd do for our country? <coughs> Fire George Bush. Why? Because I'm president. <laughs> <laughs> if you were to pick any celebrity in the world to put him on a space shuttle and send him to the moon so we could get rid of him forever, who would you choose and why? Why? Well, I guess that'd be Tom Cruise. Why? Because he's a homosexual. <laughs> why do you think he is? I'm just kidding. No, well, I don't know. If you've got to go on Oprah and say that you're heterosexual and that you have a wife, I think it's like one of those things where, you know, they say they're going to get married. <coughs> I had a neighbor that was like that. He was married, you know, and he had a kid, but he ended up being in the closet and he was very, very gay. I've got a joke. <coughs> what do you call a fat woman with a hot dog? What? Hungry. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Hi, Dennis. My name is uh, Jesse, and I uh, watch your show quite a bit uh, when I can. Um, I'm on the uh, witness protection program, and uh, I have to stay home most of the time because people are following me everywhere, and they're after me. But I really like to watch your show when I'm not stressed out, and uh, keep doing your show. It's real good. I like it. Hi Dennis, uh, my name is Larry, uh, Larry Butler, and uh, I really like your show. Uh, I work at Sears uh, Automotive, and uh, we broadcast it here uh, for our customers, and I, I caught a drift of it, if you know what I mean, and uh, you know, I, I actually got in a little trouble because the manager uh, saw me, you know, watching it on my break, and then I sneak away. But I uh, really like your show, and uh, keep doing it, all right? Hi, my name is Patty, and I'm a housewife. I've got five kids, and uh, just recently remarried from a very tragic divorce. Uh, my husband was a uh, wife beater. Uh, you've really given me a lot of uh, strength through it all and I am now uh, getting help and I really appreciate your advice uh, a little laughter goes a long way 
Uh, hi, Dennis. My name is Antonio. Uh, not not Antonio Banderas, but Antonio. And uh, I'm a very serious actor, and uh, I would really wonder if uh, you could put me in one of your movies um, in the future. I, I just did a part for you in L.A. Uh, I was the punk rocker, if you remember me. I heard that you might be doing another movie called Spaceman. Hey dude, keep me in mind and uh, give me a call. I'd like to do it. Whatever it is, I'd like to do it, man. You're the man, you're the man. Hi Dennis, uh, I'm still having a bad hair day. This is Ian. And you recommended that I use uh, Vaseline and dirt in my hair. Uh, you said it works for you. And beer. Uh, I've been working on that and uh, I haven't gotten any big results yet, but uh, I really appreciate your help. If you have any other ideas, just let me know. Hi, my name is Liz and I work in a beauty parlor. That's why I have beautiful, beautiful hair. I love to work on people's hair. Oh, I love hair. I love to put my fingers in people's hair. If you'd ever like me to fix your hair because it really looks pretty bad uh, please give me a call I'm at the bubble beauty beauty salon in Hollywood and just come on in and uh, I'll take care of you we're right across the street from the laugh factory oh. <laughs> anyway uh, come on in and um, I'll be your girl oh hi um, yeah. My name is uh, Aaron, Aaron Young, and uh, I'm a comedian. Uh, I also do impression, uh, impersonation of uh, Bette Midler. And um, <laughs> um, I really like your show, and I was wondering if you really need any um, comedy bits. Uh, just let me know. I'd be happy to do that for you. Uh, don't you think I look a lot like uh, Bette Midler? Uh, yeah, I do. Don't you think so? Oh, yes. And I'm a very beautiful girl, and I have nice teeth. I, I use that whitener for my teeth, and I recommend you try it. It, it. it really works. It's put out by Crest. Just another cup of coffee on another beautiful day. It's you and me in Hollywood, the Dennis Woodruff experience. Did you know that I've won nine o Oscar awards? And what I mean by Oscar awards is corn on the cob. What the hell that means? Did you know I won these awards? No. Did you know that shooting uh, steroids into your ass is a form of power? I didn't know that. <laughs> you didn't know that? No. Have you ever tried it? No. If you were on Wrestler Wrestling Mania and you were one of the contestants, and uh, which one would be your best match? Who would you want to be with? I even don't know a single guy out there. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> What's the question? Uh, do you think that they should do any new uh, improvements on the Hollywood sign? Uh, what would you advise? Never thought about it. I happen to like it. <laughs> you like it the way it is? Yeah. How about you, sir? Do you think they should improve on the Hollywood sign? I don't think so. <laughs> Why not? It should be the way it is. Yeah. It's been there for years now. Uh huh. How about paint it red, white, and blue? <laughs> no. <laughs> they would ruin that. <laughs> or put polka dots on it. No. Well, Just I mean, if you were going for polka dots, that's different. I mean, we can do, like, black polka dots. Yeah, or pink or whatever. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I like it. I think we should light it on fire. Really? And build a new one. No. It's <laughs> traditional. It's perfect. I like it. What do you think it takes to be a great actor? Insanity. Why is that? Because to be a great actor, I don't think you can have your own personality. I think you have to adapt to other people's. Are you an actress? No, I'm not. <laughs> uh, who's your favorite actress? Al Pacino. Can you do an impression of Al Pacino? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs>
In your estimation, what celebrity do you think that they should send to the moon and never come back? Oh, uh, I think that they should think they should. I, uh, I love them all, but I think I uh, don't hate them. I don't hate them all. And, uh, Tom Cruise was on Oprah Winfrey and it was jumping up and down on the couch and uh, he loves Scientology. Does that prove himself to be a lunatic? Uh, Tom Cruise is a handsome celebrity and a lively celebrity. He jumped over a, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, what a, the actor? What actress? What her name was? You, I, I, I can't say it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, but, yeah. You heard it, folks. It's uh, it's the opinions on the street. Yeah, some are good, some are bad. We can't be judgmental. We just have to go out on the street and find out what the people think. No matter good, bad, or evil, we want to find. We want to get to the bottom. We want to find for you the truth. Remember, you'll always hear the truth on the Dennis Woodruff experience. Being that Tom Cruise jumped up and down on the couch with Oprah Winfrey and his strong beliefs in Scientology, he voices everywhere he goes, does that prove that he's actually a lunatic? Oh man, he must be having a good, funny life now. Man, I bet. I would like to do that. If there was a celebrity, uh, that we would send to the moon and so they would never come back, which one would you choose, or even a politician? Rosie O'Donnell. Why? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's the one that you would send to the moon. I sure wouldn't want to see her naked. <laughs> uh, what celebrity do you think they should send in the NASA program to the moon and never come back? I think they should send Louis Armstrong and Miles Davis. Why is that? Because they want to spend a lot of time succeeding in past times and present times. Did you see Tom Cruise on Oprah Winfrey where he was jumping up and down on the couch and he was saying, I love Scientology. I don't know if that was what he was saying, but does that prove that Tom Cruise is a lunatic? Yeah, Tom Cruise went nuts. Okay, I had to come back and see him because she went crazy. <laughs> yeah. What yeah. do you think they should do with him? I think they should dispose of their bodies and put him in the bread box. In a bread box? Yeah. And then what? Put him back in the sanitarium. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and what do you think of Michael Jackson? Uh, Michael Jackson is a, a dope superstar. He's like real into the dope game. Into the what? The dope game. Yeah. Yeah. My name is Samantha, and uh, I'm a big fan of Tom Cruise, and I really don't think that you should make fun of him like that. I think he's a really handsome, cool guy, and uh, I even saw him in Malibu wearing his Speedos, and he's really cool, and he's my favorite, so don't make fun of Tom Cruise, all right? Please. Who's your favorite rapper? Snoop Dogg. Why is that? Because he's he's uh, the most controversial uh, hip hop uh, rapper um, in the like, in the Eastern uh, uh, Soho uh, Village District. Did you say he likes to party? He likes to rap. Does he like to party? He's spontaneous. He loves to party, but he doesn't drink alcohol. I see. Does he smoke pot? He like, he smokes pot, and he uh, also. Um, he likes to watch the world collide. Does, does he does he do crack? He does smoke crack. Have you ever smoked crack? I smoke crack, but not crack. <laughs> Beauty is everywhere, man. We have to learn to love each other. It's a beautiful world, man. Peace and love. Peace and love. We need to take time to smell the flowers and the roses and... Uh, Love each other, brother. We need to love each other. Everything is groovy. Everything is beautiful. We're all individuals.
the Dennis Woodruff experience. Hi, what's your name? Uh, if they were to send a celebrity to the moon so they would never come back, who would you choose? Who would you choose? Jack Nicholson. And did you see Tom Cruise where he got on Oprah Winfrey and he was jumping up and down on the couch and talking about Scientology? Does that mean he's a lunatic? <coughs> well, it just means that uh, he has uh, some issues to deal with. Let me tell you something. Talking about people who have issues and things to deal with. I'll tell you, I got things to deal with. I got issues, man. I got, I got a lot of issues, you know. I got a lot of baggage, you know. I, uh, you know, I got, I got, I got a few problems of my own, you know. I, uh, you know, I've been to a therapist before, and uh, they said I was a multiple personality. Uh, and I said, well, which one should I pick? I might as well go with the best one, you know. And uh, so I, 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 I think I, uh, you know, I'm dealing with some of my issues, but I, I got issues of my own, you know what I mean? Uh, sir, I want to ask you, do you think that comedy is funny? Yes, I think comedy is funny. Why? I, uh, because it's, it's comedy is humorous sometimes, and it's enjoyable to to listen to them uh, and watch them. Uh huh. Are you a comedian? No, I'm not a, a comedian. No. So is comedy funny? I uh, I I believe it. Comedy comedy is funny though. Comedy, how, but however, I don't like to be a comedian. Hi. System la hi. System la casiasa. Do you think you're beautiful? Oui. System la sentiarsa. What does that mean? We, oui, I am beautiful. Personally, I myself have never thought of myself as uh, beautiful, but uh, beauty uh, from inside. But I, I think I have certain qualities, and I, I really believe I have, and I've been told I have good bone structure. You know, it's very important to have good bone structure. You know. If you have good bone structure, you, you, you're 10 steps ahead of the game. I think my little dog, Toffee, has good bone structure. Toffee, do you have good bone structure? Right, Toffee? Good boy, Toffee. What kind of a bird brain guy would put a sign like this up in the neighborhood? My first question for you, sir, is if they were going to send a celebrity to the moon, and leave him there so he would never come back and bother us, who would you choose and why? Uh, George W. Bush. Is that a celebrity? Yeah. <laughs> I agree. Why? Uh, why? Because he's the ruination of our country. He really is, isn't he? Is that it? And my second question to you, sir, is on uh, Oprah, Oprah Winfrey, uh, Tom Cruise got up on the couch and jumped up and down and, and said Scientology is the only way. Does that prove to you, in, in your estimation, that he's a total lunatic, or yes, what? Yes, 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 Say absolutely. why, why? <laughs> no, I'm afraid they'll hurt me. Um, first question, uh, celebrity that you don't like. Celebrity that I don't like. You know oh. what? I don't like the term celebrity. Yeah. I don't like that, you know? I don't like Mike Tyson. Really? No, see, I like Mike Tyson. I'm afraid of Mike Tyson, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say that I like him, because I like my ears. Okay, well, my, my question is, if we were gonna, if if you were in charge of sending a celebrity to the moon, so he would never return, he or she, and we could get rid of them permanently, who would you choose and why? To get rid of them permanently. Yeah, the NASA program is gonna send someone to the moon. I'm gonna stick with Mike Tyson. He creeps me out. He's weird. He bites people, and I think he's, I think he, he's beyond therapy. He needs to go to the moon. Bye, Mike. Bye, bye. Yeah, and I'd like to say to Mike, you know, you know, keep on boxing and everything, but don't beat up women, man. That ain't cool. You know, I heard you like decked your wife or something. Never hit a woman, no matter what. Go out and kiss, kick a trash can or whatever, but don't abuse the lovely women of our world because we really need them and we love them. 
Uh, I love women too, Mike. And um, I'm Dennis Woodruff. Um, I'm Dennis. You're Dennis Woodruff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Mike Tyson. I'm no. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm talking to you about Mike, right? Yeah. Yeah, Mike. Um, if you are on the moon, and you do happen to um, look down upon us, just remember that at one time you were the greatest boxer alive. And then you started eating people's ears and um, smacking the ladies around, and that's just not cool. Okay. Uh, my next question. That was that was two questions. Well, that's okay. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go for three. We're gonna go have some tea. <laughs> okay, my next question and last question Alrighty. is: uh, Are you familiar with Tom Cruise? I, I've heard of him. I've heard of him. Well, Tom Cruise was on Oprah Winfrey, and he was jumping up and down on the couch, and he was saying to everyone, "Scientology <laughs> it rules, man! Yeah, yeah. You got to join Scientology." In your estimation, does that prove to the world that Tom Cruise is really a lunatic? Well, I think that, you know, people in this country have different beliefs and different um, religious backgrounds. And I think if he wants to jump up and down for Scientology, or, or whether he wants to jump up and down for Muhammad, or if he wants to blow himself up for Scientology, <laughs> I think, I think that might be all right, too. You know, I think that um, that's what we live in such a great country that we can do whatever we want to do. And um, I kind of want to jump up and down right now for the Fine I Living Network. Should. We'll do that. I, I, I want to see you do fine that. Living. Fine, fine Living. Fine Living rocks. Fine Living. Fine Living. Yeah, hold I'm on. living life like I mean hold it. it. I'm living life like it? I mean it. Fine Living. Who is it? Woo! Oh, it feels great, man. Woo! Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> if we were going to send someone to the moon uh, on the NASA space, space program, uh, what celebrity would you choose and why? Who would you want to drop off there so we can get rid of them? She's not really a celebrity, but Paris Hilton needs to go away. Because she's not really uh, talented, nor has anything to say or add to our society. So I, I don't really see the point in having her around. And uh, that's, a, that's a good point. And also, you know, she's got all that money. I think she should give some to charity. Yeah, some, yeah. Instead yeah. of spending it all for clothes all the time. Absolutely. Clothes and purse and makeup. Are you having, what are you eating? A seaweed and cucumber salad. Cool. Uh, oh. And then last year, my cushion did we suck. Uh, being that Tom Cruise was on Oprah Winfrey and he was jumping up and down on the couch and acting real crazy and saying Scientology is for everyone. Uh, does that prove in your estimation that he's a total lunatic? Um, no, that, that does not prove to me that he's a total lunatic. <laughs> Would you go out with Tom Cruise if he asked you out on a date? You got yes, a I would actually. You, 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 you got a little booger right under your nose. You better get it. There you go. You got it. No, not really. I was just kidding. Uh, uh, well, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be interesting. Uh, would you go out with Dennis Woodruff if he asked you? Um, I think when, when you hit your from a three quarters of a million to a million mark, you might think about it. Yeah. Uh, my last question uh, is, and I gotta go, is if there was a, a, a reality show about a potato who had millions and millions of dollars and you had to be a contestant and marry the potato uh, even though you didn't like him to make all that money, would you do it? A potato? Yeah. Yes. Oh, hi, my name is Ying and uh, I work for uh, Starline Tours. And whenever we see you driving around Hollywood, uh, all the tourists take pictures of you when we're driving around. And you may not have seen me in traffic, but I wave, wave at you and uh, you just ignore me. Hi, my name is Brian and uh, I work out at the same gym you do. And I just wanted to tell you I saw you in the locker room yesterday when you were getting changed. And boy, you have a nice butt. Hi, my name is Tanya, and I watch your show, and I really like it, but I, I work at Burger King drive through and I just want to ask you a favor. You know, when you come through, don't ask for all those extra things like pickles and too many onions, and then you want extra mustard and ketchup, and then you want hot sauce, and, and then you want all this other stuff, and it takes a lot of time, so please, when you come through, just just order a burger, okay? with extra cheese. 
No, don't even have the extra cheese. Just get the burger and get the hell out of there because I'm working too hard and I need a day off. Hi, my name is Lauren and uh, I really dig you and for a long time from a distance, but uh, my mother, she thinks you're too old for me, so she told me not to flirt with you anymore, but uh, I still really think there's possibilities. So if you see me, don't be shy. Just come up to me and ask me for your phone number. I mean my phone number. Well, maybe I could get your phone number. Well, I don't know if you have a phone number. But uh, maybe we could go out for tea. Do you think I'm kind of sexy? Uh, I think your dog is sexy. <laughs> well, let me ask you a question. You know, I, I really want to get a girlfriend. I'm not desperate, but... Uh, give me three things that I could do to improve myself that maybe girls would start oh, really no, liking. Oh, no, I don't want to do this. How about one thing that you think? Should I dress better or am I fine the way I am? Um, you're fine the way you are. Excuse me, do you think it'd be fun to be rich and famous? Fun? <laughs> yeah, would you want to be rich and famous? Sure. Uh, do you like the Three Stooges? I want to get no. Why not? Uh, guess. Uh, More of a serious question. Uh, you know, nowadays, do you think that people are reading as many books or no. they're just going to see movies? No. Uh, staying home and watching television. That's kind of frightening when you think about it, huh? A little. In the old days, uh, people used to read a lot of books. How many I hear books? That. How many books do you read a month? I have no idea. One? A lot more than one. Probably more than I do. I don't know. Uh, do you think my hairdo looks like a no-brainer? Uh, no, but it's very attractive. I would imagine it would be hot and itchy right now, though. It is. And I want to ask you: If you were president of the United States tomorrow, what would you do for the world? Um, I would eliminate all world all the debt that countries have to us and I would start uh, exporting the food, excess food we have to countries that don't have it. And I would, I don't know. Uh, and one other question, uh, being that Saddam Hussein supposedly killed all those people overseas, what do you think is, uh, my idea is for his punishment they should just uh, slap him, let everybody slap him in the face. What do you think they should do to Saddam Hussein? Frankly I haven't given it any thought and I don't think it's really of much consequence. Well, he killed a lot of people, right? I mean, doesn't yeah. the Bible say that thou, thou shalt not kill no matter what? But I he's, mean, he's not Christian. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, what do you think it would be like to be rich and famous? Uh, I don't know. Would you want to be? Uh, I don't care. Okay. Hey. Oh, I think you're so funny. Oh, 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 oh. oh I'm Queen, Queen Lativa. Oh, you're so funny. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Hello, sir. How are you today? I'm okay. Uh, I want to ask you uh, one question. One good question. Uh, sir, uh, what do you think it would be like to be rich and famous? Would you want to be? Not famous. What? You want to be rich? Yeah. If you're really rich, you're not famous. Well, uh, what do you mean? What does that mean? It means that people who are rich and famous are essentially selling the image of sexual access to themselves all the time. Uh -huh. And that's where they make their money. Uh huh. And uh, if you had millions and millions and millions of dollars, I don't know, maybe you already do. No. What would you do with it? Well, if it was just millions, then there's only limited kinds of research I could do with it. How about if you had a billion dollars? Still wouldn't be enough. Well, if you had a trillion dollars, then what would you do? Build a city on the moon. Uh, how would you get all the stuff there to build it? Well, we'd have to build lading stations in high and low orbit. Uh -huh. Do you believe in aliens from outer space? Uh, yeah, but I don't think we'll ever meet them. Uh, what makes you think they really do exist? Because my feeling is all celebrities are really aliens in disguise. Well, that's a possibility, but uh, 
what really makes me think that is the moon. What? Um, the moon is an astrophysically highly improbable object. Do you think you would want to have the first condominium on the moon? No. What would you build there if you had all the materials? Uh, we'd build a station to support, a station to do uh, deep research uh, quantum transport experiments. Maybe we should uh, take Saddam Hussein there and just drop him off. Why pick on him? Well, because he killed a lot of people. He's crazy. A lot of people have killed a lot of people and are crazy, but well, we support them anyway. I know, but we should deal with that, don't you think? I don't see any reason to single anyone out in particular. Are you an animal lover? Within limits. Well, what I mean is, do you have a pet? No. Well, I have a little dog. His name is Toffee, and he goes everywhere with me, and we have a lot of fun together. Of course, sometimes nice. he's uh, a lot of trouble. Get over here. Mm -hmm. He tries to run out into the street. But listen, I got to go, but thanks for chatting with me. Right, you're welcome. Sir, do you think that they should change the Hollywood sign or leave it the way it is? It's ready for an update. I guess they shouldn't change right now. Leave it as it is. How about just paint it red, white, and blue? Yes, good idea, Ch uh, painting red, white, and blue. I think it's a good, I, I, great idea. Are you a big fan of John Wayne in his cowboy movies? <laughs> oh, yes, yes. I have seen a big uh, movie, uh, 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 John Wayne, cowboy movie, True Grit, True Grit, I think. That's your favorite movie? Yeah. What do you do for a living? Nothing. Nothing? Mm -hmm. Did you go to college? Yes. Okay, one other question. Last question. If you spent all your money going to college, you had a trust fund and you had, like, spent $100,000, mm -hmm. do you think you'd be, you should be allowed to go back to the college and ask for your money back? If you couldn't get a regular job? Get, yes, actually I do. I think it... I think but, it, here's the thing, like if you're an opera major, which I was an opera major, and you're trying to get a job being, say, a clown, or um, some sort of managerial role that has nothing to do with music or opera, then, you know, you have no right for your money to get your money back. Um, you know, it'd be really wonderful. I've had a lot of people sing songs and do something. Yeah. Could you just give us like a little operatic, not a whole song, just to hear your voice real quick? This is the first cup of coffee I've had in two days. And I'm just waking up. It's Sunday. I didn't go to church this morning. I didn't warm up, so... How about if you just go? La 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 Me, 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 me! You couldn't do that? Just something? Um, no, I can't. Okay. Well, thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you for that. Hey, it's me, the devil. Yeah, yeah, you're doing some real devilish things, you little Dennis. You little munchkin. Yeah, I like you. Yeah, you're, you're a real funny guy, and you just keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, you're, you're a real evil, evil guy, you know? Yeah, yeah, you're an evil guy like me, man. You just keep doing that stuff. Yeah, I'm getting crazy. Do you ever think that you would want to make a date with the devil? Yeah, we say bye. What? We say bye. Yes or no? No. Why not? Because that's a bad idea. Yeah. 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 Okay, well, thank you. Do you believe in vampires from Transylvania? No, 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 sir. <laughs> Do you believe in vampires? No. Why not? He's in the military. Look at yeah. Him. Like, I'm in the military. <laughs> Hi, uh, what's your name? Alexandra Kogan, Valentina Asovskaya Dochka. And where are you I from? Used to be, I'm from Russia, Odessa. And do you believe in vampires from Transylvania? No, I don't. Uh, what, do you, what do you do for a living? I'm a hairdresser. Uh-huh. And what, what kind of style is this? Uh, the style of what? The hairdo? Yeah. It's an abdo. 
in the uh, for the day it's uh, the hair goes down and at night the hair goes up uh, do you like the saying uh, uh, somebody said this about my girlfriend once beauty is skin deep but ugly is to the bone what does that mean well, uh, it, well if you're so nice to your girlfriend take the picture and uh, love your mom love my mom Okay. Uh, do you think they should change the Hollywood sign or leave it the way it is? Repeat the question. I, I never was there. I'm gonna go there. My boyfriend, mother lives there. Uh huh. And if you were president of the United States tomorrow, what would you do for the world? Well, if I'm a hairdresser, I don't jump so high to jump to those. But if you were president of the United States, would you change the world? Well, I, I think it's a sick question and uh, I would uh, like to discharge it. Did you know there's a rumor going around that vampires really do exist in Hollywood? No. Have you ever seen a vampire? No. Do you believe in vampires? I'm not sure. Yeah? <laughs> what? Until there's evidence. Uh-huh. Have you seen the Hollywood sign the way it is? Yes. Well, it's just white and then it's all normal looking. Do you think they should update the Hollywood sign? Yeah, I think they should light it up at night as well. Light it up? Yeah. Uh, like what color? Just as in so that you can see it at night time because you can't see it at the moment. What I think they should do is uh, have drag queens uh, stand on top a platform and have the lights flash on, uh, on and off at midnight and then they are take off all their clothes and jump around and act really crazy and then have midgets slap them in the face and ha knock them off the sign and have them roll down the hill. That's what I think they should do. And then paint the sign hot pink and gold. Who's the most famous person you ever met? Um, probably the cast of Friends. Yeah. Matthew were they Perry. idiots? No. They were they were, a group of they were idiots? really nice. <laughs> really? Yeah. Hey, I just want everybody to see you. Uh, you qualify to be one of the ten hottest chicks that I've had on the show. Oh God. What do you think about that? <laughs> I'm embarrassed. Put the camera away. Okay, well, thank you very much. <laughs> you know, at least five times a day, somebody walks up to me and says, Wow, you are a hot chick, man. And I just... You know, I don't let my ego take over. I just kind of play it off and just laugh and go, oh, thank you very much. Hi, how are you today, sir? Again, man, you already got me. I just want to ask you one last question. What's Do you the think there question? are aliens from outer space that yeah, exist? Yeah, there's got to be like four of them at least. <laughs> Where have you seen one? There's one over there. And uh, what would you do if you met an alien? Give it a kiss. How about you, ma'am? I think most most Hollywood celebrities are really aliens from outer space in disguise. Would you agree with that? Yeah. yeah. They act really weird, don't you think? Um, I guess maybe weirder than you. I, yeah, I was thinking maybe I'm an alien from outer space. Yeah, I would space. think you were alien before that, anyone else. Do you think I'm funny? Um, creepy funny. I try to be. It's not easy to be funny. Sometimes I'm funny when I'm not trying to be funny. How does that work out? Well, I, you'd have to ask my girlfriend. She laughs at me every time I take my pants off to go to bed. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. She laughs at me and she says, Oh my God, am I stuck with this? Okay, well, have a nice day. You too, man. And nice chatting with you. Yes, you uh, I just want to ask one last question. What kind of a drink is this? It's a raspberry martini. It's unbelievable. Are they delicious? No, they kind of suck a little. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I got to go. All right. Hi, excuse me, sir. Is tattooing uh, on the rise or the decline in piercing? Um, as strong as it ever has been. And how about you, ma'am? I agree. Because you, we're out here in front of the tattoo shop in Hollywood. <laughs> And I wonder how's business. You got some it's lovely right. tattoos. How is it? It's all right. Your dog's cute. Yeah. Business oh. is good. Uh, what's the name of your shop? Uh, it's called Pricks. Yeah, and it's right on Sunset Boulevard. Oh yeah. 
and uh, what would it cost people to get a tattoo if they were uh, the average price? Average price these days, probably looking anywhere from a bill to a bill and a half. Uh-huh. And do you have celebrities that come in and get tattoos? Sometimes. Like who? really talk about who comes in yeah. otherwise like many places in this area if they know you're talking about them they don't come in anymore well what I'd like to do is get a dragon coming out of my ass uh, breathing fire uh, or a rat crawling out of my butt my butt crack would you do that if I ask you to or you probably wouldn't want to do a tattoo like that tattoos a tattoo skin is skin <laughs> We're on Franklin Avenue and I'm hanging out with some artists and I just met a guy named Matt who's a musician and he wants to sing a little tune. Check it out. Rabbit. And uh, have you ever heard of Dennis Woodruff? Uh, barely. What do you think of the guy? Bothers me. Why's that? Kept trying to sell his tacky videos to everybody and would leave them alone to eat their meal. Be ready. My name is Matt Beal. And uh, I bought Dennis's movie, contrary to what the other dude said, I thought it was pretty entertaining. When I first moved to town, Dennis told me uh, I would get laid more and I would receive checks in the mail if I bought the movie, and that was all I needed to, to buy it. <laughs> this is a song I wrote called All I Want Is You. It's a little something like this. All I want is you. So pay me some and I'm sure people are going to like your stuff. If they want to get your music, how do they get a hold of you, man? How do they get your CDs? How do they get your stuff? You can find me on MySpace, MySpace, MattBealRocks.com, or no, MySpace.com slash MattBealRocks. And uh, the stuff on there is more rock and band stuff. Oh! <laughs> and uh, can you spell, make sure they get the spelling right. What sure. is that? It's Matt Beal, B-E-A-L, Rocks, R-O-C-K-S. And uh, how much do your CDs cost usually? Ten bucks. And how about folk postage and handling? Uh, you pay. <laughs> yeah, how much is that? Uh, I, honestly, I don't know. Offhand. Is it on PayPal? It's on PayPal. Okay, well... Uh, Self-produced. <laughs> really? Yeah, with a band, rocking stuff. Yeah, and uh, how well are you doing out here? I'm doing all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You might be like uh, Guns N' Roses someday, really huge. You never know. Uh, how many uh, uh, records have you sold already? On my own? Jesus. Yeah, or on the internet or whatever. Like 1,500 maybe. You heard it, folks. That's Matt Beal, and uh, he's got some good tunes, and uh, maybe we could check it out. Uh, the dude sees rocking and rolling, and uh, I know rock and roll isn't for everyone, but... Uh, 
I'm out there and I'm looking for new talent on the streets of Hollywood. And I'm Dennis Woodruff, and this is the Dennis Woodruff Experience. I gotta go now. I'll talk to you. And I gotta go out and hit some more uh, people and uh, see what I can find. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah.